This process needed to take its course and as a political party we make no apologies for that. This has been a demonstration of a disciplined government going through necessary processes to arrive at a decision. And as a result of allowing this process to occur, the team I lead remains united and focused on delivering for Tasmanians. Our government will be a government of conviction, of compassion, and importantly, one of opportunity for all. Our plan has worked, and I see no need for radical divergence from that plan. Tasmanians need to know that the sensible, responsible government we have provided in the past will continue under my leadership. Our plan to manage the state's finance as well has delivered record levels of confidence, the fastest growing economy in the country and more than 18,000 new jobs across the state. This has enabled us to invest more into education, health and essential services and looking after our most disadvantaged. We will stay the course and deliver the policies and the plan that we took to the last election. Tasmanians voted for us on that basis. We will not betray that trust and we will continue to be the government that they elected. However, there is more to do. Demand in health remains at elevated levels and we need to do more. Demand for housing hasn't abated and we need to do more. A rapidly changing climate is now the new normal and we must learn from the recent lessons of the mainland bushfires and once again we must do more. So I understand very clearly that not every Tasmanian is reaping the benefits of our stronger economy and that not every Tasmanian is able to grasp the opportunities that present. I come from humble circumstances. I'm the son of immigrants who came to this country 50 years ago on the promise of a better life. Through hard work, my parents built a life for themselves and they worked night and day so that their children could have a better life than they. My vision for the state is for a Tasmania that no matter where you live, no matter what your background is, no matter what your circumstances are, opportunities will be there and if you want to grasp those opportunities, a better life will be within your reach. It is clear to me that our state's best days are still in front of us. Tasmania's strengths are well recognised. We're well on the way to becoming the eco-tourism capital of the world. We are the country's renewable energy powerhouse and we can and will become the battery of the nation. We can and will find a pathway for Tasmanians to play their part in national sporting competitions. The government that I lead will bring these exciting projects to fruition to ensure that all Tasmanians will have the opportunity they deserve to improve their lives and their standard of living. I look forward to working closely with all of my Liberal colleagues to meet our commitments, deliver our plan and provide the opportunities that all Tasmanians deserve. I'd like to hand over to the Deputy Premier to make a few comments as well. Well, thank you, Peter, and uh, my congratulations uh, to you. Uh, it's my uh, great honour to continue as uh, Deputy Premier uh, for Tasmania and Deputy Leader of uh, the Liberal Party of Tasmania. It gives me the opportunity, in actual fact, to pay tribute to Peter's uh, predecessor, uh, Will Hodgman, who I have worked very closely with um, as Deputy Leader since 2006. And uh, along with Peter, uh, Will and I were elected in July 2002. Uh, we all were elected uh, to make a very positive difference, not only to the lives of the electorates that we represent, but for uh, all uh, Tasmanians. Uh, so thank you, uh, Will Hodgman, and uh, your legacy is uh, one that you and your family and our party and Tasmania can be very, very proud of. Uh, to Peter, uh, we've worked very closely uh, together uh, for 18 years. Uh, Peter will be a fantastic Premier uh, for Tasmania. He is a driven and motivated person uh, to make a positive difference. And he also has uh, a very big heart. And uh, the, one of the core values that Peter has outlined is a uh, compassion and a compassionate uh, government, which is very close to my heart as well. As a team, our whole team, we've made, uh, I believe, a great contribution since 2014. We have been a very strong, uh, united government, and that will continue. There are more Tasmanians employed now uh, than ever before. 
and we will continue uh, to ensure a very strong economy and to ensure people uh, have that opportunity of uh, gainful employment. But also, as Peter has said, there are many challenges ahead as well. And uh, with Peter as Premier and with a strong and united uh, team uh, behind him, of which uh, we are, uh, we will continue to make a very positive difference in the lives of Tasmanians. And congratulations, Peter. Thanks, Jim. Questions? Have you decided on your government? Will there be a reshuffle? Obviously, I'll be speaking to all of my colleagues over coming days, and I'll be uh, hopefully announcing the new cabinet uh, later on this week. Do you plan to stay on uh, look, there will be minimal uh, disruption in terms of um, the new Cabinet, but I want to have those conversations with my colleagues. Um, I'd make the point that, that all of our Ministers uh, are doing a good job. Um, they're across their brief. Uh, they're delivering for Tasmanians. And so I'll work through with them uh, sensibly and responsibly, as I have done so in the past on other matters, and uh, I'll be uh, announcing that uh, Cabinet later this week. How did you find out Uh, look, Michael came and saw me this morning, uh, and then obviously you're aware of the statement that was issued. Was there anything that you this morning? Sorry? What did Michael Ferguson say when he met with you this morning? Look, Michael, um, I want to say this um, very clearly, is a man of integrity. Um, he's a man that um, has worked enormously hard for this state and will continue to do so. Uh, Michael uh, took the view that in the best interests of uh, the team, uh, of the state and of the people that we represent, um, that there would be no need for a vote this morning, and I thank him for that. Was there anything that, that you offered um, people who might have been undecided, anything to get them over the line and, and on your side, so to speak? No, I can uh, absolutely say that uh, I didn't. What are your plans for legislation moving forward now? Do you have anything that you want to um, introduce? Well, obviously I need to sit down with my colleagues. Um, you know, we've already laid out the parliamentary schedule for this year. Uh, but one, and I want to make this point very clearly, uh, we came to government in 2014 and we, we brought our plan forward um, and we have stuck to that plan. And that plan has worked. Now, here we are in 2020, um, after the, uh, the 2018 election, with the strongest growing economy in the country. Um, uh, we have strong jobs growth. Uh, now, we lead the country on so many indicators. Um, we won't be diverting from that plan nor the commitments that we took to the last election. Uh, but obviously there are areas that we can do more. Um, as I've said, um, health, we can do more. Uh, in housing, we can do more. Uh, climate change and the impact of um, the changing climate that we're seeing and the destruction that has been wreaked, unfortunately, on other states. Uh, as a uh, small jurisdiction with significant forest cover, um, we need to ensure that we do more. And we'll be working through those issues together as a team. But there will be no radical divergence uh, from our policy positions. Well, every leader brings their own style. Um, you've become accustomed to my style over the last uh, number of years that I've been Treasurer. Uh, one thing that um, uh, I do bring to the table um, is in terms of the uh, commitment that I will give to the Tasmanian people, one thing that I have a burning desire to, to do um, is to ensure that the opportunities that um, Will Hodgman worked so hard to create um, are being shared uh, across all of the state. Um, and I think that is the fantastic opportunity that we have as a government. Um, we have the strongest growing economy, um, we have jobs growth, uh, but not every Tasmanian is able to share in that. And we need to understand uh, what the mechanisms are that are going to provide uh, those opportunities to more people. To what extent?